Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I'm host of Star Talk Radio. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm getting it! Yeah, I remain skeptical about the near term future of space travel. I think, yeah, we can get it so that we visit the moon, Mars, asteroids. There are economic reasons to do it. Maybe you want to mine an asteroid. You want to be tomorrow's first trillionaire. That person is going to be the one who mines asteroids first. These are the nearby targets, but the more distant targets, uh, there's no known way technologically that would enable that in a human lifetime. But if we're stuck in the near solar system, I'm cool with that. I'll visit Mars. Mars. The Hyperloop is cool. I, it's, that's how we all used to think back in the 1960s. I'm old enough to remember what tomorrow was supposed to look like. And it had hyperloopy looking things in it. It's about time we have some people dreaming that way again. I'm a little more skeptical on getting it to work effectively and efficiently, but I applaud the steps taken. My great regret is I grew up flying a succession of, flying in, a succession of faster and faster airplanes. I would have thought that by today we would be hypersonic. And if you're hypersonic, you'd get from New York to Tokyo in a couple of hours. Where is that technology? It's not here. There's nothing even on the table, in the hopper, on the draw there's nothing on the drawing board. And so I'm disappointed that transportation didn't keep getting faster. One consolation is now, for many airplane flights, you have the internet. And so what would I do if I landed earlier? I would have gone on my computer and gone on the internet for 10 hours. So uh, I welcome the fact that it now actually doesn't matter how long the airplane ride takes because I can still be productive on my computer, plug into a power outlet, surfing the internet. By the way, the total satellite destruction scenario, it's real. One satellite can take out 10, they each take out a